What's up, everybody? Today I'm coming to talk to you about a loadout that I think is a great combination of ease to use. It's one of the easiest to use and practicality. It's as in it's still viable. Think Kilo MP5 meta reincarnated. Uh, this is my favorite meta. Luckily, right now we're in a better state where we don't have a meta, but this feels very similar. Feels really good. Both e uh, both guns in the loadout really easy to use. Well, all three guns. But I'm talking about the Krig and either the LC-10 the, or the Bullfrog. The, these guns don't really have recoil. It feels a lot like the Kilo Modern Warfare MP5 did. You can absolutely shred. These guns don't take a lot of skill to use because neither the two SMGs or the Krig have like any recoil at all, especially with these builds. And I, I really think this is a viable loadout if you don't like the recoil on the AMAX or the RAM, you don't like the recoil on the Cold War MP5, you don't want to go back to the Modern Warfare MP5, which is still a good gun, and you're not really a fan of the MAC-10 anymore like I'm not. But that being said, let's go ahead and get into the loadouts. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the Krig. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the obvious, the agency suppressor, you get the sound suppression, the vertical recoil control, the bullet velocity, and the effective damage range help. You lose little on aim down sight and aim stability, but this is our long range AR. Uh, it's our main go to for range with this loadout, so we're not really that worried about uh, ADS. Yeah, it's nice to always be snappy, but you don't get a crazy penalty, and obviously you want all the benefits of the agent suppressor. Same with the gaming stability, not really a big problem. It's an AR, it's not a sniper. You don't need crazy precision. You're really usually tracking while firing, so not a huge deal. Then we go barrel, we're going to go with the ranger barrel, it gives you the best bullet velocity which is important for a long range option. Uh, takedown gives you effective damage range but there's no harsh fall off with the Krig so we're not that worried about effective damage range. And then mil spec, gives you bullet velocity but not as much as the ranger and the other benefit is strafe speed which we're not worried about because this isn't a close range weapon so we're not that worried about strafing back and forth while we're in a gunfight. You're mostly going to be behind cover firing at somebody or frying somebody running out in the open, not even looking at you, and you're not that worried about strafe speed. And that comes at the cost of effective damage range. This gun doesn't have a crazy drop off, we don't want to give it one. So we're going to go with the Ranger Barrel. Field Agent Foregrip is the option here, helps with horizontal vertical recoil control. We're not that worried about firing movement speed and ADS firing moving speed, because once again, it's a long range weapon, we're not in a close tight fight, so not really important for our long range option. Plus, this gun already doesn't really have recoil. You add that on there, and then there's pretty much no recoil. Then we're going to go 60 round mag. Uh, if you don't want the ADS penalty, 45 works. A little bit tougher to use in trios and quads, but you don't have to worry about it because if you're fighting your fights while well, you're behind cover, it says long range. But I like 60. I would rather at least be able to down a couple people before I have to reload. And for fast mag, it doesn't really help you with the long range weapon. You're not like quick ducking behind cover, jumping back out, peeking, shooting. You're usually going to be long range and cover, so you don't need the quickness and why hurt the ADS more than this already does if we don't have to. Then that brings us to Optic. I have really liked the SUSAT multi-zoom on this. This is preference, but this gets rid of a lot of the visual recoil and a lot of the bounce that Cold War weapons have. Plus, I think it's a really clean sight on it, so I actually really like this. But you can go Axial Arms three times, and according to J-God, this actually does have a hidden stat like the... VLK 3.0 optic on Modern Warfare guns, and it does apparently actually help your recoil. If you're going to go with this, you don't have any of the battle pass or pack reticles. This is the reticle I use. It's the cleanest. It's the easiest to see, especially at range. You do unfortunately get the, the shake that you get with the scopes on Cold War guns. It's really jarring. It's a lot of visual recoil, but this is at least a clean sight if you're going to deal with it. If you have the battle passes like I've been getting... Then you should have this reticle. This is the one I'd go with unless you have one from a pack that you like. But this is very minimal, not very intrusive, and you get rid of that awful black shake. But at the end of the day, that's not my preferred. I prefer the SUSAT multi-zoom, and this is my preferred Krig loadout. So then we're going to go ahead and move on to the LC-10. The obvious agency suppressor like you'd use on every gun for the same benefits as you always would. And then we go Task Force Barrel for the damage range and the bullet velocity, which is nice. This does hurt recoil, but this gun has like no recoil, so I'm not really worried about that. Remember, this is an ease of use loadout, so you go and go with this. It also adds the strafe speed, which is good for those tight, close range gunfights. And then I like to go Tiger Team Spotlight. It helps with the movement. 
helps a lot on true game day. And unfortunately, they don't have the stats, so I can't tell you how much, but it does help a lot. You'll be able to feel it. Then here we go, 55 round mag. We uh, we 45 is not really enough. Close range gun fight if you play mostly trios and quads like me. You can get away with it, but it could hurt you. Uh, 52, you actually lose three bullets, and it's not a real quicker reload, so you might as well have the extra three bullets. Could save your life, and it doesn't really hurt. Plus, if you have this blueprint, it's part of the reactive blueprint. Uh, then I usually go Raider Stock, once again, for movement. Um, you're not really going to hit fire with any Cold War gun, so it's not going to be like the Modern Warfare MP5 in that case, but it is at, because it is an easy-to-use weapon, so that's why it's like the Modern Warfare MP5. But I go ahead and use this for movement. If you really want no recoil on this gun, I would say get rid of the Tiger Team Spotlight in place for the Field Agent Grip, and then that would really give you no recoil. So that's what this loadout would look like, but my preferred loadout on the LC-10, or the one that works for me, is this loadout here. Good movement. There's already no recoil, so I don't need a foregrip. Good amount of ammo. Agent Suppressor. This is a really good loadout. So then I'll just go ahead and show you a Bullfrog loadout. Go ahead and go with my favorite blueprint. So, just like before, for all the same reasons, Monolith Expressor, Task Force Barrel, 65 round mag, Tiger Team Spotlight, and the Raider Stock equivalent for this gun is the KGB Skeletal Stock. Once again, this movement, good amount of ammo. Uh, for ease of use loadout, which this is, I would actually drop the ammo because this comes with 50, which is just enough. And if you want absolutely no recoil, Spetsnaz Grip. Uh, this is the best no recoil loadout. Um, now, if you want the ammo and you want the no recoil, I would get rid of the Tiger Team Spotlight. And then I would go 65 round mag. This gun's a little headshot dependent. So another option is to get rid of this mag or the grip. And then you come up and go micro flex LED. So you can make sure you're hitting your headshots to get the fastest TTK with this gun, which absolutely shreds. Even beats out the Cold War MP5 if you're hitting all headshots. But my preferred loadout looks like this this is my preferred load out for the bullfrog i hope this video helped um these are really guns and a full loadout that i think can be used at any skill level if you struggle with the ram or the amax's recoil and you just want to be able to laser people i really think the krig is a good option the lc10 and the bullfrog both really good easy to use smgs not hit fire monsters like the uh modern warfare mp5 but great option nonetheless, really easy to use, no recoil, and that's what this loadout's all about is ease of use with no recoil. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you on River Dance. Get frying. Bye. 45 meters to my left, you might be top twin. Mm. Down, down. First dude. Effective shot. Yeah, I was fucking mad. I broke that one. Where? Oh, uh, the one that jumped off. I broke. I marked him. Nice. Pain. Yeah. Another two, two. Broke one. Nice. One's uh, one, one right by UJ. Right. Right team. Nice. Ah. On the buy. I'm gonna tap a beach here. Oh, sure. Fuck. The fuck was that? Shit. Oh my god, on top from behind me, he was peeking. Blue. Destination. Kills. No biz, you got no biz. I'm dropping me, I got out. He's dead. Thank you. There's two on the bot section. I couldn't get the fire off. Thank you. How did the precision hit me? I ran away. I broke one. There's another one on the other side right. that's broken. Can I get a res, please? I'm far away from you guys. One, I got one dead. He's broken up there. Right here. 
Back one's broken. Nice. Yeah, Fucking fuck. weird. In the plane? My game showed that someone was still in the truck, I think. Oh, I'm dead here, you won't be able to rise. <coughs> And Friendly loadout drop on the way. That's on the top of the ground. Oh, the We're here! He's almost broken. No. Oh, to the right, to the right! Super, near super. Or fast. Yep, yep. I'm two, plating. Two, two, two. Bounty target is two. down. Well done. We got... You know where we the other guy is? Yeah. Guy on top of me. He's dead. Ready? Right. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Get it. Oh. Target. I pressed it and it didn't do anything. I was like holding it too. Guys over here. Yeah. Got I think they got killed from trailer here in orange. Deployment. Destination more. Yeah, I think they got killed from and green now. trailer here. Unless you killed them, JQ. Uh, I got one on heartbeat in front of you guys. No way! Bad guy, front! That's sniped. None of these guys have fucking plates. You know where? Set. Yeah, right beside the blue shack. Come. Throw a nade! Alright, Just keep. Oh my god. Fucking piece. Wait, coordinates. Okay, what? Nice. Hey, mate, no Danny. fucking way, bro. Base. The one time I try what, what Aram just said, I get killed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that? Oh, to Head now. Apple green. They're leaving. Once broke. Nice. Mala pinga. Yes, I'm driving. Where is he? Where is he? Hit him. We should be down again. No, they're all. Ah. Woo, suck oh, my dick. That boy's need help. I'm pushing him. Ah, so now you got, you got. Thank you. Eat this! One more ready. Spritz, grip the wrist. Clean shot! Don't locate it. Oh shit, he's good. One went that way. Nice. Nice. Is a daddy right here if I want it? Are they on the roof? Oh. No! I was not that far off! Yeah, there's a couple of them. Moving here. Northwest. There's one right beside no hospital. Way. Movement! Movement! There you go, Fire light tank. Target. Ah! Movement! Never mind. Never mind. Right there. Relocated. Right beside the door. I had a as I was nowhere near hot that high. Press my button. Still? Nice. 